Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I just got in from outside, shoveling the driveway. We had our first appreciable snow of the winter. It's got about one inch or so. Not a huge amount. It's quite light snow. But anyways, uh, any snow is too much snow for me. So we may get a little bit more tomorrow, but hopefully it doesn't add up. Uh, my youngest son is driving back from Vancouver as we speak. Went down to some kind of a techno DJ thing there at uh, Rogers Place. So he's up on the Cocal as we speak. It's probably a bit slippery up there. Uh, he took his mom's car. It's an all-wheel drive, so hopefully he has a safe journey. So I'm just trying out the new uh, webcam. I finally got the webcam running yesterday. Actually went on to a uh, live stream as well with it. Uh, Rafael Scrapper has live stream every Saturday. Well, Saturday afternoon here, Saturday night over where he lives in Denmark. But yeah, the camera seemed to work pretty good. So this is the uh, first time I'm trying it out making a video. Uh, I've got it set up on that uh, little tripod I bought in the summertime at a grad sale. Uh, that German tripod, I forget what it is. Starts with a V, anyways, doesn't matter. Anyways, seems to be uh, just right for the webcam. Just got a gimbal. I've got a uh, shelf mount stand up there for it. The only thing with that one, it doesn't have a gimbal in it. You can't level up the camera. Uh, never thought of that when I bought it, of course, but oh well. So, anyways, we'll see how this works out. And hopefully it'll avoid the uh, camera shutting off unexpectedly. Actually, this one here, it's got a blue LED on it when it's recording. Uh, the only thing I uh, discovered is when you minimize the camera, it shuts off the recording. I've got my monitor up here, so I, was, I wanted to minimize the camera just so I'm not looking up at the monitor all the time. But then I realized as soon as you minimize it, it turns off the the camera, but just learning curve. So anyways, I'm going to go back to those, get warmed up, uh, have some soup or something like that, and then come back out here, tackle a few little projects. Uh, I've got the heat on here in the shed. It's about 50 degrees. Not too bad, actually. Probably about 52 now, something like that. It's comfortable. It's not super warm, but it's comfortable. So anyways, I will be back. Talk to you later. back. Stop snowing outside anyway, so that's uh, something. Hopefully it doesn't snow too much over the night, but uh, stop for now. It's only about an inch of snow, but it's going to be more of a nuisance than anything. Uh, I was just watching on the news before I came back out there. They're having a big ice storm back in Ontario, so it's just wreaking havoc with uh, traffic and travel in general, so there's been quite a few accidents apparently so road shouldn't be too bad here tomorrow hopefully unless we get some snow over the night first couple of snowfalls here it's a disaster everybody has forgotten from the year before how to drive in the snow so they got to relearn by driving in the ditch a couple of times and then it uh, usually settles down for the winter so i mentioned i, I got this uh Set up going here finally in the uh, man shed. I got a computer over there. I got a monitor up there. I got the webcam. Finally got all the bits and pieces. Uh, I went out on Friday to get a monitor. Had uh, two free monitors given to me. Here's one sitting there. <laughs> Both of them didn't work. So I figured to screw it. Black Friday, I went uh, to Staples and got a monitor there. They had one for $99. So the first thing was, it couldn't tell me if it had an HDMI cable in it or not. So I said, well, let's just open the box up and find out. Well, they don't want to open anything electronic up. So, okay. so I bought a HDMI cable just to be safe. So the TV was $99, the HDMI cable was $40, so this doesn't seem right. <laughs> so then I uh, got back to the shop there, I texted the ERIT guy, the guy that I bought the computer from, and I said, uh, told him uh, 
about the $40 uh, HDMI cable. And he says, oh, no, I, says I, I can sell you one for 10 bucks, take it back. So then I thought, well, I'll just phone one of our suppliers. I think they sell them too. So I phoned uh, to one of our suppliers across the street. They said, yeah, we got them for $12. So, so I took the $40 cable back to Staples and got a refund. Told uh, when I got back, I phoned I had one anyway. So, so you got to watch all that peripheral stuff. That's where they make their money on. Obviously, they're not making any money with these loss leaders, but uh, they're trying to make it up in other ways. So, but they still had the last laugh. So I got home, unpacked everything. Uh, then I went to uh, about the computer on the bracket, the wall bracket I've got. It's the only monitor I've ever, sorry, about the monitor. <laughs> it's the only monitor I've ever seen that doesn't have the screws in the back for uh, mounting. It just had the, uh, the piece that goes down to the base. That's it. So then I thought, oh great, so then I was uh, debating, well, how am I going to do this? So I flipped the bracket around uh, that for the base. I was going to make some kind of a hanging mount. But uh, then I looked, I have a, another monitor for my laptop, just because the screen on the laptop is so small, so I have another monitor for that. So uh, why don't I just swap those out, because that would have the back screws on it. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, so then eventually, Saturday, like I say, I got this thing working here. That seems to work pretty good. So it's not a fantastic computer or anything, but it's got lots of USB ports. It's got a solid straight hard drive in it and everything. So it'll, it'll work just fine out here. And uh, it's also got SD uh, ports on the front of it. So it's going to be handy. That way I could just uh, download the videos right from the webcam onto the SD card. And, Basically what I was doing before with the camera there, uh, the camera has an SD card in it, so you take the SD card and use that to make the video, so this way I could just pull the video right off the computer via that uh, SD card. So yeah, that, that should work good. So uh, just drinking uh, some tea today in the shop. Uh, I actually ran out of beer, so <laughs> I don't feel like driving to the liquor store there because the uh, roads were shitty this morning. So. This is like a jolly old England shed there, and we're drinking tea instead of beer. Uh, so I got a few things here. I got a little bit of wire here I found there. I'm going to uh, strip that later. I've got uh, one of those ballast transformers too. I'll strip that one out. That one's a big one. It's uh, by the size of it, it appears to be a thousand water it's 400 for sure a thousand water probably yeah it's got three coils of copper in it there so strip that out and put a my copper bucket and i'll just let fill that bucket up uh i was watching one of uh canadian treasure hunters videos this morning there he took some copper to the junkyard uh or no sorry he asked at the junkyard what the copper prices were down the coast so uh, I think he said number two copper is about 260 or something like that. So that's actually not too bad. Uh, number one is 288, he said. And I'm not sure if that's uh, number one bright and shiny was 288 or just straight number one. So, so anyways, they're around three dollars for number one or number one bright and shiny. So that's actually not too bad. Hopefully it goes up a bit more between now and the spring. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to do too much serious here today. Enjoy what's left of uh, Sunday and prepare myself for uh, tomorrow. Had a busy couple of days, Monday, Tuesday. We're doing a few uh, few things, putting a new service in a building, and a couple other things that need to get done next week. Uh, then after that, uh, December just starts to grind down to a halt. Nothing much goes on, so. Good, uh, December's a good month to catch up on all your paperwork and everything, all the stuff you've been uh, justifying putting off because you're busy with other things. So <laughs> if you're not busy with that stuff, then you can catch up on some nagging paperwork and stuff. So nothing too exciting. Uh, that's going to be it for this weekend. Uh, hope everybody has.
has a great upcoming week, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.